Hello guys and welcome to Medi's Tech Circle. In today's video we want to take a look at Good Luck 2019. So I've talked earlier in or on my channel about Good Luck and maybe the most of you guys know what Good Luck exactly is. So Good Luck is an app or an hub for many different apps from Samsung to change and customize your Galaxy device in a really in another dimension, you know, so you can really customize a lot. So first of all, how do you install it? So if you live in the US or in the UK or in South Korea and I think also in Canada, you can simply go into the Galaxy store and search for good luck. But if this isn't the case, so like me in Germany, it n just doesn't show the Good Luck app. What you can do is first you install the Windscribe application. So that's a free VPN app. You open it up and then you will search for Dallas Ranch. So this Dallas is a city in the US, of course, and you will connect with it or just don't connect to it yet. First of all, what you want to do is you basically go to Galaxy Store and then you go to the app info and then you will go to storage, clear cache and clear data. Or you can just also clear data. This will also clear, sorry, this will also clear the cache of the app. Okay. So if we have done this, you simply turn off your device and you turn it off. So just turn it off, then you will remove your SIM card. This is important. And after you turn it on, you will go to the VPN app, connect to Dallas or any other country which is available in your VPN app, which is in a supported country, then you will launch Galaxy apps, search for good luck, you will find this app, then you install it and here you will get many different options here, right? You can see and you will have to install these. So this will then redirect you if you didn't install every single good luck application. Some are pre-installed, but some um, it says tap item to finish the installation that will take you to the Galaxy app store and you will need to install or download these services you want to use or these additional add-ons you need to install. After you have installed everything, you can turn off your phone, put your SIM card back in and turn off VPN. Okay, so let's take a look on what's new. So as I mentioned before, I already discovered or uh, gave you an overview in earlier videos on my channel what good luck does. So you have Lockska, Lockstar, you here you can basically um, yeah customize your lock screen. You can change many different things. Um, then we have Quickstar. So all these apps. This is not really something new. We had this before in Good Luck, but it's now supported for the One UI and Pi update. So as you can see with uh, um, here with Quickstar, you can customize your Quick Panel. When you turn it off, you have this basic quick panel. Then we have task changer. So here they updated some things. You have new animations for multitasking, as you have seen earlier in the video. So we have a layout type, which is called stack. So this is basically almost the same as you have natively in Android Pi. But this reminds me a lot of what Apple is doing in iOS. So if you prefer or like this, you can use it. It's pretty nice. Um, you can also select a blur effect in the background. So without a blur effect, it looks like that. But I think with a blur effect, it looks even better. And you can center the currently running app. So this is also pretty nice. Then you have a layout which is called list. So this is basically um, almost the thing we had in Oreo, like a list view, but a little bit different. Then we have a layout which is called grid. This is the one I'm using right now. This reminds me a lot of what Samsung has in One UI on their tablets. So this is cool because you can see really a lot of opened apps um, directly. So I could 
see uh, or I can see six different apps and switch between them much faster without the need of scrolling that fast but uh, it's up to you what you prefer then we have the um, layout type carousel so here you can have different layouts again so the scroll effect can be cube out so this is something we had before in Oreo in good block but I prefer the new um, layout type called grid all right so this was task changer then we have routines so here um, okay we need an uh, routine plug in to be installed but here you can see what your phone should do in um, different situations so in a different time or in specific time it should i don't know maybe turn on the vibration mode instead of the um, mute mode it should adapt the brightness or you can also set a specific area when you go somewhere that it should change some settings of your phone so um, if you like apps like these uh, yeah you can use that of course so then we have clock face so then you it will redirect you either to always on display or lock screen so let's go to always on display and you will see here an icon when you tap that you will get clock face different um, styles we had that before in oreo 2 so nothing ch has changed right there then we have multi-star i don't know if we had this in oreo but you can basically change um, get this pop-up view action back and many different things one thing I forgot before I um, come to the end is in Quickstar. That is something maybe a lot of people are caring about is clock position. So you can basically put the clock back in the right top corner. You can put it in the middle. You can hide it completely or put it back in the left where it is since one UI or Android Pie. And then the last app we have here is called Navstar. So if you enable this, you can basically change back to the Oreo style navbar. You have something like this where you have um, a button to lock the screen and you have a button to make a screen or to take a screenshot. And here you're basically your normal keys you have also here in the standard ones. But you have different styles, you can configure them, you can yeah, change a lot of things right there in this app, um, which has to do with your navbar. Then you have here other um, applications or services you can install. So for example, Edge Lighting Plus, this will give you um, new effects. For example, this Celebrate effect, I don't know if you can see that right there. Then we have this Loop effect galaxy effect which looks also cool but i think loop is one of the coolest or no i think boomerang looks also pretty cool because it's sleek it's um yeah minimalistic but galaxy looks nice um so yeah as you can see we have some cool things which are now also available in um good luck for the one ui so they officially updated each app to support One UI and Android Pie. And yeah, as you can see, we have some other things, One-Handed uh, Operation Plus, Nice Catch, so you can see which, um, which application makes a phone vibrate or sends notification. Um, then Edge Touch, you can um, set a zone where you want to pre prevent, prevent, sorry, where you want to prevent accidental touches on the Edge and sound assistant which is available without good luck also on the play store so guys that's it that's a quick look at the updated good luck for um, android pie or the one ui um, i hope you enjoyed this video if yes please give this video a like if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and also please consider subscribing to my channel that would really mean a lot to me Guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you around. Peace out. Bye.